A very good morning to one and all on this Saturday, the 21st of May, 2022. These views from the Central Pier are to introduce my video, which will be uploaded to YouTube tomorrow on the Sunday, the 22nd of May. I do hope this finds one and all as well as one and all can be in these days. I will try now to relay a message from this channel to all viewers and one and all. Regretfully, the last three or four weeks, the first four days of the week, that being Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, Blackpool, unfortunately, like everywhere else, has suffered to a point. It has been very quiet on those four days. On Wednesday, I was stopped up by two men who said they tried to get into a theme park on the seafront and they told me something. I said, no, that cannot be right. So I went there and yes, they proved right. One of my, one of my um, visits in this video will be to that park. Later on in the week, there's also a visit to a well-known shop trader in town who would also have words to say on this. Also, there are usual visits to sites and great news about Abingdon Street Market. So I'm going to start the video now, thanking everybody for viewing. Wednesday, a sunny day at midday and we are at the Pleasure Beach. Now something's wrong here. I'm going to see why there is nobody about on this sunny day in the middle of May at the Pleasure Beach. Please notice all these kiosks at the entrance virtually of the Pleasure Beach. Every one of them closed up in the middle of May on a sunny day. Oh yes, I do believe that there's something gone wrong here. So let's, as said, see what we can find out. And have a look at this. This, this place is usually packed. Hundreds and hundreds of people waiting to get in. And look at it. It, it is bare of people. Now this is the reason why. I'm going to show and tell everybody why this is like this and why it will stay like this. Once upon a time, it was free to walk around this pleasure beach. Then it went to six pounds to walk around, then 10 pounds to walk around. Now, if you please, it's 46 pounds just to get in and walk around. 46 pounds. The main entrance to the park here at 12.15 p.m. on this sunny afternoon in the middle of May. Nobody but nobody about. I wonder why. I think the reason why this is dead as a dodo bird is because of the ludicrous prices that are being asked just to walk around the park. I think they'll be like this until the children break up for their six week holiday or whatever. Well, that's the reason why nobody here. I'm out of here now. A quick look through these gates at 12.20 p.m. in the afternoon. Look, nobody there, nobody there. I'm off and out of here. News today from this bill and pictures from our principal viewing area. Well, as you can see, the ground workers are now very close to the entrance of this build. And what I can tell you is that I have received information saying it is hoped, it is hoped that the groundwork will be all finished by the weekend and the steel erectors can arrive then next Monday or Tuesday to this build. On leaving our principal viewing area, 
I thought you might like to see this full frontal view. And that's our visit today to these builds. Another glorious late morning on Thursday, May the 19th. There's the beach in front of you and the tide is on its way in. High tide is in 90 minutes from now. There's the North Pier. We have two or three or possibly four, I believe, places to visit today. So I'm going to get on with this video. Do hope you enjoy this on a Thursday. Thought you might like to see the Tidal Information Board again. Yes, high water just after 2 p.m. today. And the, and the temperature 16. A glorious day again this Thursday. And just leaving the comedy carpet. Now our first venue today is we're going to see four brand new electric vehicles from the Ford Motor Company. Yes, it's their yearly visit to Blackpool. The Go Electric. So I'm very, very quickly going to run you along these four cracking vehicles. The first one is this blue Mustang. Now that's the name, isn't it? Mustang. And there's the electric symbol there. And here is their placard. £67,000 this one. A beautiful electric vehicle. The Mustang. The next one is this mild hybrid Ford Puma. A very, very nice colour, this one. And again, we can see all the details here. The price for this one, 30000 These cars will be here until next Thursday, the 26th of May. Next one coming up is the Ford Cougar. A lovely black. Shining in this sun. And let's have a look at the cost of this one. 38,000 for this cracking vehicle. And the last one, this all electric Mustang. A beautiful color. And there's the Mustang there. The emblem of the Mustang. One cracking vehicle. And the price for this? 57000 As said, these vehicles on show every day until this Thursday next week, the 26th of May. I thank Ford Motor Company for allowing the video. Now this is the crypt. We are known here. Oh yes, we are known here indeed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the counter and Kurt is there. Now Kurt would like to say a few words. I'm very, very sorry about this interview, but I think it should be made. It relates to the pleasure beach. Now Kurt, as you can see, he operates this wonderful wonderful shop unit here called the crib now i'm going to hand you over to kurt which is now his video hello um yeah with regards to what you were speaking about uh, i think it's i understand obviously prices are going up for everyone business rates are going up everything's kind of going up so i know they've got to survive as well and i appreciate that they've survived this long, like hundreds of years. Uh, but they're a big part of this town. Um, and I think it's a shame in a way that with the prices, it's almost like pricing people out, especially again, with things being so expensive and people being so poor at the moment. Um, they're being so expensive just to get in, just to walk around. It's cutting off 
that really iconic part of the town. Um, and then, unless you can afford to pay hundreds of pounds to go in, if you have more than one kid, you probably can't do it. Um, I think making it a bit more affordable would bring more people down. I think um, I think it affects the rest of the town as well. Because a lot of people come to Blackpool just for the Pleasure Beach, and that's why it is such an important part of the town. Um, and I think a lot of people are being put off by the prices, the admission price. I mean, um, don't get me wrong, you know, the attractions in there are fabulous, and they're all worth the money. But what I've learned from running a business in Blackpool is just because something's worth the money doesn't mean that anyone the people there will be able to afford it. So you've got to know your audience, you've got to know the people that come to your business. Blackpool's always been a very popular working class tourist resort. That's always been what's kept it going. So I think, not to sound too dramatic, but almost betraying that working class customer base in a way. Um, leads to people not coming here, they go a cheaper place. I've already, I hear people, they come in the shop, they go, Oh, we're not going to such a place because it's too expensive. Uh, we're going to go somewhere else. We're going to saving up on going to Alton Towers instead, or we're saving up on going to some other theme park, or even going abroad sometimes with the money they could have spent here. And I think it's a shame because not only is the town missing out on the custom that would come to the Pleasure Beach and then spend the money elsewhere while they're here, but um, yeah, it means people miss out on the Pleasure Beach. They can't afford to go there. Kurt, thank you very much. Now we, I'm, I, I just like to make this clear: the entrance fee includes the rides, but however, mm -hmm. it's over 180 pounds for yeah, two adults it's too and two much. children. It's, it's for a working it's class too family. Much, it's too, it? much. It's too much. Yeah, I love the Pleasure Beach. I love uh, the history behind it. I think it's a fantastic resort, but I think they just need to remember that people don't have that much money at the moment, and it's thank a shame you, for everyone to miss out. Kurt, thank you for your time. You're welcome. As always. A perfect day for our full tour of the build of the Holiday Inn and all the goings on with the tramworks. This view will again show all that neatly stacked up insulation right in front of you. Using Sainsbury Store as a landmark, a quick visit to what I call the front of the build here and please notice all the glass walling all finished here. The three blue fascia signs of North Shore Railway Station and now a view of this side elevation again please noticing all those tiles that have now been placed and please remember each and every one of those tiles weighs 20 kilograms, 44 pounds in old money. Very nearly halfway along now, this side elevation. We are on the ramp overlooking the three fascia signs of North Shore Railway Station. And this morning, from that ramp, I can show you this excavator proudly standing on top of all that earth that it has already dug out and you may be able to see a smaller excavator at work on the underpass itself two excavators today at work we have swung right away around now to this build and we can see that excavator in the last clip at work adjacent to the underpass. Yes, you can actually see it from here at work. Continuing this tour today, and we are at our very well known secondary viewing area. And in front, waterproof papering there, awaiting insulation and then tiles. Also, we can again catch tradesmen on that scissor lift and they are glass walling here. Very nearly finished here, glass walling. 
we have now arrived at our principal viewing area. And in front, you will see that piece of plant machinery there. Now, I am told that is known as a telehandler. I believe we're going to be very lucky in seeing it return and to pick up something here. There we are. That's what it's going to pick up. Oh, I can just show you while waiting for that telehandler to return. Contractors at work on that scissor lift. And here we are. One telehandler arriving to take this unit away. Now, this unit is called a glass cylinder. It is what all those glass, all those glass frames, all those glass actual panels that have arrived and that we have seen being placed. That is what carries them here. And they're all going to be taken away today. I believe there's a vehicle awaiting to get into this into this build to take all those glass cylinders away. Oh, and there's that silo cylinder that's going to be all full with mortar. And there's the facing bricks there. They're all covered up. Can you see it? All covered up with that plastic. Facing bricks. That's what the mortar is required for. So lots going on here. As always, of course. One of the gates opened up to take in that vehicle that is removing the glass cylinders. And, it's, and it is from here that I'd like to thank all the contractors in this build for keeping myself up to date with what is going on. And this view will bring today our visit to a close. Breaking news about Abingdon Street Markets. Just received exciting news. Now the news does not relate here. It actually relates to the shop directly next door. And look at the new sign placed this very morning. Victoria Street Market. Yes, the exciting news is that three stall holders of Abingdon Street Market have joined together and they are moving their stall, they're moving their stall and stock into this now Victoria Street Market unit. So I'm going to find a young lady called Lynn who can help us out with all this exciting news. So let's go and see if we can find Lynn herself. We are inside the market now. Now there's a young lady in front who's going to introduce herself and also explain what is happening to these three stalls in this market. The exciting news that has just broken. Okay. Hi, I'm Lynn from Little Gem Fancy Dress. As you can see, we'll be going in next door with Val over here. Hi, Hi Val. With the makeup, perfumes, hair, and hair extensions. extensions. And then and along lips. here, all our accessories. And onto the fascinators, hats, and scarves. And then on mine, we've got all there for the younger ones. The socks, the tights, fishnet tights, all the bunting, all the party things. Fancy dress. Now I'll just take you around to the book, man. We'll go this way because it's quicker. Thank you, Lynn. No worries. You're strutting your stuff, my darling. Well, strutting your stuff. So now. <laughs> We'll just take you through to Tony's store. So you've got the magazines, the jigsaws. Yes. 
and the box. Lynn, I want to thank you very much right. for this want, breaking news. Shall we just show Huge you which shop we're going news. into? I've already done that, Lynn. So I thank you again for this exciting news all about the three stalls in Abingdon Street Market. You're very thank welcome. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. With this view, looking down to the beach and the sea from the central pier, I would like to thank one and all who has watched this video, and I will... I will see you all next time.